Hello! So I got a story for you guys today, and it connects to Sableye from the Pokemon series, so let's just get right into that. It's August, 1955. The Suttons and the Taylors were having dinner together at the Suttons farmhouse, which is just outside of Hopkinsville. Around 7 p.m., one of the Taylors, Billy, went outside to fetch some water from a nearby well. Suddenly, he sees a flash of light from the sky and he, a saucer-shaped craft in the distance. He described it as having bright rainbow lights on the side, and he said that it appeared to be crashing into the nearby valley that was near the farm. He ran back inside and told everyone what he saw. And uh, the two families were just kind of like, eh, maybe it was just a meteor, it's fine. An hour later, the two families start hearing strange noises outside. The Sutton's dog starts barking really loudly before getting scared and running back inside. Billy, the one who saw all the stuff in the sky, and Lucky Sutton went outside to see what was going on. They go outside and they see this glowing light coming towards the farm. And as the light was getting closer to them, they noticed that this glow was coming from this creature. It was about three and a half feet tall. It had large ears and large eyes and its entire body was silver and metallic. Billy and Lucky ran back inside and grabbed a rifle and a shotgun. They went back outside and they started shooting at the creature. As they were shooting, they heard noises that sounded like bullets being rattled inside a metal drum. The creature scurried away and Billy and Lucky went back inside. When they got to the living room, they saw another creature outside the window. They fired at it through the window and heard the rattling noise again. Billy and Lucky went back outside to see if they hit it, and when they got to the porch, a hand swiped at Lucky's head, causing one of the women to scream. Lucky shot at it and it ran off the roof. He heard a noise off to his right and, look and, s and looked and saw another one of those creatures perching on a tree branch. He shot at it and the creatures ran off. Billy and Lucky noted that the creatures kind of moved strangely. Their feet always remained straight while their hips moved from side to side like they were wading through water. Even the way they jumped was weird. It was like they were defying gravity and floating in the air for small periods of time. And they always had a small glow to them that would get brighter when they moved. Billy and Lucky went back inside and everybody, you know, was freaking out. For the next several hours they stayed inside huddled together as the creatures circled around the house peeking through the windows and tapping at the walls around 11 p.m the families decided okay let's make a run for it and they bolted to their cars and rushed to the police station when they got there they tell the police everything that happened the police were a little skeptical at first but the families were so hysterical with fear that 20 police officers went to go investigate the police searched the house and its surroundings but found no evidence of there ever being any creatures However, they did notice a green light beyond the farm and in the woods. The police also interviewed the neighbors and they saw they said they saw strange lights and loud sounds coming from the Sutton's farm. Around 2 a.m., the police and the Taylors leave, and the Suttons go back to bed thinking the whole ordeal's over. But oh nay nay. Mrs. Lankford, the matriarch of the Sutton family, woke up to a strange noise when she opened her eyes, she noticed a dull glow coming from outside and she saw one of the creatures peering in through the windows and then she tried waking everyone up as calmly as possible but lucky decided to grab a gun and shoot at the creature but to little effect they continued to hear noises for hours afterwards around 5 a.m everything just kind of stopped and the creatures never returned After the story got out, the Sutton's farm kind of became a media circus, and they were constantly ridiculed. People would show up in droves to the farm taking photos and trying to capture the creature the press dubbed the Hopkinsville Goblins. A lot of the people accused them of being hoaxers or that they were under the influence when the whole ordeal happened. But the Suttons and the Taylors stand by their claims in that they, what they saw was not of this world. There have been numerous theories and explanations for what might have happened. A popular theory is that the goblins were actually great horned owls, which vaguely resembled the creatures. Not to mention, great horned owls are known to be violently territorial, and that the light Billy saw might have just been a meteor. A meteor. 
as there were a lot of meteor sightings in the area at the time. But regardless of whether the story is true or not, it spread across the world and into Japan's pop culture, as the people behind Pokemon created a Pokemon called Sableye. Did I watercolor on paper that was probably not made to be watercolored on? Yes. But did that stop me? No. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and let me know what kind of video you want to see next. This is Katie Ross, signing off.